Australian police have uncovered a plot to carry out beheadings by supporters of the Islamic State. Fifteen people were detained in Sydney, making this the largest anti-terror raid in the country's history. Laura Jays has the details. In the dead of night, police honed in on their targets. 800 investigators, forensic experts and tactical officers spanned out across Sydney, simultaneously hitting suburb after suburb. <laughs> Homes and cars were searched, some handcuffed and questioned at length. 15 people were arrested. Police believe that this group that we have executed this operation on today were, had the intention and had started to carry out planning to commit violent acts. This terror cell allegedly prepared to target Australians randomly and carry out public executions. The violence was to be uh, perpetrated on a member of the public on the streets and uh, certainly at this stage uh, was at a very high level. Planning to drape their victims in the ISIS flag, behead them all the while recording it on film for use as propaganda to be broadcast the world over. These instructions coming from within senior ranks of Islamic State. Quite direct exhortations uh, were coming uh, from an Australian uh, who is apparently quite senior in ISIL uh, to networks of support back in Australia uh, to conduct demonstration killings here in this country. The Prime Minister says the biggest terror raids in Australia's history was the result of months of investigation and planning. Twelve suburbs across western Sydney were targeted, but it was in Guildford that an alleged extremist leader was caught. On his knees, handcuffed and surrounded by officers, Omar Azari was taken in and charged. This person was engaged in preparing to commit a terrorist act here. Inside a normal home on a normal street in suburbia. I never thought I, I would see anything like this. It's actually quite frightening. My heart is actually pounding. Prosecutors allege 22-year-old Azari was planning to shock, horrify and terrify the community, which involved an unusual level of fanaticism. A phone conversation between Azari and a senior Australian-based ISIS recruiter is a key part of the evidence. The threat of terrorism has turned from an abstract concept to something very real for many Australians today. Authorities are urging calm, but they know that many will be quite alarmed at the prospect of random acts of violence becoming a new form of terrorism.